guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. 2020, new year, new filming setup again. I still see a few videos in my room with my big bookshelf. Um, I'll probably still film there from time to time because I do love the look of the books in the background. But I finally got a desk and so I thought that it would be fun to start filming up here and just kind of, I don't know official. I'm really doing this because Jenna does this a lot and it looks super cute so that's really the only reason. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to 2020. Um, I'm so excited the first video of the new year and the new decade and I thought that it would be fun to go over some of my favorite books from 2019. So without further ado I'm going to jump right into the book. It was really, really hard for me to narrow down uh, my favorite reads of 2019. I read a total of 74 books over the year. Um, some killer and some killer. So it was a hit or miss year for me, um, but I did read quite a few books that I enjoyed. So I have 10 favorites that I chose for this video and then 5 honorable mentions because I couldn't just stop. Know. These are in no particular order, they're just on my desk so I'm just going to grab them as I go. So the first book is The Rancher's Unexpected Baby by Jill Lynn and this was a part of the, yes, it was a part of the Colorado Groom series and I think I've read all of them so far. Um, and this was by far my favorite, it was just cute, the banter and the wit and everything that was in it. It was just such a great story. The next book is 18 Days of Christmas by Audrey Bodine, and yes, she is one of my she wolves. she is one of my really good friends, but that's not why I chose it. I chose it because it is such an amazing story. It's so cute. If you are needing like a good Hallmarky Christmas book, and it's not even like straight up Hallmark, like it's got some depth, it's got some emotion, it's really cute. I loved it. and. I'm really, really, really looking forward to the next book in the series. Let's go, Audrey. I know you're, like, adulting with all your college stuff, but, like, Alicia needs your book, so I'm a little more important than college, I think. Next up is the Book Nerds and Boyfriends novella collection by Sarah Monson. And no, I'm not cheating because there's three stories in this. It's one book. I loved this novella collection so much. I think I sat and read it like in one sitting, if not like two. Um, it was so cute. If you are just looking for that cute little story, it's a couple pages long, this is perfect. There's three stories in this collection. Um, you can buy each story individually on Kindle or you can like buy the full print copy because print copies are better on Amazon and Sarah is just an amazing human, a, an amazing author. I love all of her work and this is just so good. This book is the only book I think I've ever read that like actually made me cry, like not tear up, not kind of sniffle, I'm talking full on ugly cry, like snot and everything included. And that was Whose Waves These Are by Amanda Dykes. Y'all, this story was everything. It was so good. Um, I have told everybody they need to purchase it. Oh, so good. <sighs> All of the ugly sobs, literally. It was, it made me laugh. It made me cry. Mostly it made me cry. Happy tears, really sad tears, really emotional, like, why did you do this to me tears? Um, but definitely, definitely well worth the read so good and I'm so excited for her next book. She's publishing one this year and I'm so excited. Next is another book by a really dear friend of mine and that is Yours Truly Thomas uh, by Rachel Fordham and this has a couple special places in my heart like I love it. Um, the story is so good. I loved the premise. It's about the dead letter office and as somebody who loves Signed Sealed Delivered that Hallmark produces this book was everything my little letter writing lover heart loved. I that made no sense, but we're gonna we're gonna go with it. It was so cute. It was so heartfelt. 
Rachel is amazing at writing sweet, heartwarming stories. Uh, another fun fact about this book, another reason why it's close to my heart, is there is a special dog who runs around in this story, and her name is Honeysuckle. And I actually got to name her. It's really, really cool to find out that I got to name an ant like I got to name something in a book and it stuck. Like, I just I love this book so much and I think I'm due for a reread. Also the cover is amazing, so it's just I love it. It's so good. Next up I was this book completely took me by surprise this year. I did not care for the first two books in the series and I almost did not pick up this book, but I decided to give it a go because I love the author, so I was like, mm, we'll give it a try. Why not? And y'all, as soon as I finished this book, I literally almost picked it up for another another read. Like, that's how much I loved it. It was so good. And that is The Unexpected Champion by Mary Keneally. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it because I wasn't completely in love with the characters in book two. And, like, they made their little cameos throughout the series slowly. Um, and I wasn't sure how I liked them. But this book was so good. Mary did such a good job. There was wit, there was intrigue, it was cute, there was chemistry. Like this is the Mary that I know and love. Next is a book by an author that I've never read before. I was a little apprehensive about starting it. It's a really big book. It's like based on true events in history. I was like, mm, I'm not gonna like this. But oh my word. Like what have I been doing with my life? Why have I not picked up one of her books? It was so good and that is with this pledge by Tamara Alexander and it actually won the Christie Awards for 2019 in the historical romance category. It just like intrigued me the time in history, the battle that it was talking about, the house is still standing actually you can still tour it um but it's like this is real like this happened and it's not just a history but like she turned it into something that would intrigue people and grab their attention and it was just so good the romance was amazing which was actually based on true events as well uh but Tamara did a wonderful job and I loved it so so much and I'm really excited for the rest of the series the next book was one is my favorite definitely so far out of the series Oh, I loved the characters. I loved the tropes that she used. It it was just really cute. And she writes this very well. And that is Diamond in the Rough by Jen Toronto. It is so stinking cute. I loved the tropes. I loved the chemistry between Poppy and Reginald. And it was just... It was so good. Um... Also, this cover is everything. Jen's amazing. I love everything that she writes. The next book, again, is by a favorite author of mine. <laughs> I guess you could probably guess who it's gonna be. It is such a good book. I love this book. This book also made it onto Jenna's top of favorite books. I will link that video in the description so you can hear her thoughts about it. I have been waiting for this story for a long time because we learned about the main character in the story from the first book in the series and every woman ever was waiting for this book. And that is More Than Words Can Say by Karen Woodmire and this is about Zach Hamilton, guys. If you read um, if you read More Than Meets the Eye, you met Zach Hamilton and probably fell in love with the brooding, quiet orphan who needed to take in two younger kids and raise them and did some terrible things to make sure that they stayed safe. Everybody fell in love with him and everybody wanted his story and it finally came out earlier this year. This story was just so well written and just again tug at your heartstrings but make you laugh, make you giggle, make you all saloony. It was just such a good book and if you haven't read it I definitely recommend you pick it up and you read it and we even got a cameo from Seth and Evie and Logan and the last book that is on my favorites list <sighs> y'all this book I talked to the I was able to talk to the author um about it like earlier this year after I'd read it and I literally started crying when I was talking to her like that's how emotional this book was for me that's how much it touched my life like, it was just, 
amazing. And that is Of Fire and Lions by Misu Andrews. This book was amazing. It, it was such a journey and one that I loved and this book really challenged me. Like I, I honestly can't explain, really explain to you what I felt when I read this book. Um, it was just amazing and Misu really, really touched my life with this book. God touched my, like he used this book to really touch my life and really challenge me and I loved it so, so much. It's probably one of my all-time favorite books, like, ever. So those were my top 10 favorites, so now I'm gonna jump right into my nominated, like, honorable mention books. So first is Brunch at Bittersweet Cafe by Carlo Loreno. I loved the story, I loved the chemistry, I loved the people. There were a few moments where it was a little woo for me, but overall I loved the book and can't wait to read more of her stuff. Next is The Curse of Misty Wayfair. Guys, this book by Jamie Jo Wright, y'all. Not many books creep me out, but this one was a little on edge a couple times, but it was so good. I loved it, I loved the storyline, I loved all the characters, it was so good. Next is The Sky Above Us by Sarah Sundin. Yes, this is book two. Um, I did not read book one, how I something happened and I had to read this one out of order. But y'all, it was so good. It did not take away from the story for me, and I loved it, and I picked up the other book of the series, and I'll be grabbing the third book when it comes out so that I have it. It's so good. Next is A Rebel Heart by Beth White. This is the first book that I had read by Beth White, but it was amazing. I loved the characters. I'm really excited about book two and three. I'll be getting those as soon as I can, and I'm really excited to read them. It was just such a great book. Loved it. And last but not least for my honorable mentions is Flight of the Raven by Morgan L. Bussey. And this is book two in the Ravenwood Saga. And y'all, I loved it. I said in my uh, review that book one was definitely world building and book two was definitely character building. We finally got to see them and some stuff happened that we got to explain from book one and I won't spoil it, but you guys need to get this series. So stinking good. Loved it. <gasps> All right, so those were my favorites for 2019. Again, I read quite a few good books, quite a few great books, quite a few mm, books, and some that I just DNF'd. Um, but it was overall a really good reading year for me, and I'm super, super excited to see where 2020 takes me and my reading journey. Let me know what your favorite read from 2019 was, and if you've read any of these books. Don't forget that you can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .blogspot.com, and you can also check out my Instagram, which is for the love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!